Honorable Speaker, I was educated as uh, 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 when I was a minister for works and housing. That just two years after our independence, Accra was heavily flooded. President Krumah with the largesse of the British Exchequer and his capacity to even give loans to Guinea. Two years after independence, this low-lying area called Accra was terribly flooded. And we said a lot about this flooding, even talking about uh, I mean, sinking 450 million into uh, flood control measures. And our speaker, these are palliatives. These are not permanent fix. Because speaker, what are we doing as a nation? We have, as has been said, bad habits of I mean dumping our debris into open gutters and they getting choked and then we dissolve. So there's a yearly ritual of uh, desilting, putting the rubbish, spend good money, and then I mean take it out for purposes of getting the flow of uh, I mean, the excess water into designated areas without a spillover called a flooding. So, right about this, this is what we've been doing. But there is another dimension of solving this problem once and for all. And we need to look at it. It's very capital intensive, but we need to look at it. If not, use our little money to be solving this problem, and it won't help us. The, the way to go, given our bad habits, and the rest of the challenges of this country is to have the culvert constructed subterranean. I remember, Speaker, I was given this advice long ago. I made the presentation of the cabinet. We should go subterranean, whereby every filth and dirty water is not seen. You don't have open drains in London. Although the filth they churn out daily, overwhelm what we are turning out I mean in months but if we don't go subterranean and you have open drains honorable speaker trust me in so far as we keep doing the wrong things and then the local government system is virtually broken down in terms of our hygienic conditions the Asian tankers see people are no longer there to police the environment we we'll come back with this thing song I'm afraid and it wouldn't matter whether it's MPP in power or NDC in power. If you don't take a very, very qualitative decision and find good money, you cannot fight this, I mean, uh, mess of uh, flooding with coins. If you use the budgetary lines of this country, I do not see how we can ever solve this problem unless we take a bold decision that if cocoa matters to this country and therefore we go to the stock estate and, 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 and uh, stock market, the, the bonds market, and get good money to meet the needs of the cocoa season in millions of dollars because cocoa matters to us. Why are we not saying that if our flooding has a very debilitating effect, the cost to lives, property, and livelihood, and therefore we should also raise very good money and tackle this problem once and for all. If every government is interested in tackling it, if you have your eight years, you do your very best to, to continue with the program. Another government comes and they continue, we'll be able to solve this problem.